All right, Mr. Aiden, what book have you read this week? This week, I read a book called Holes, a very, a very that, that popular book. It is quite famous, yeah. yeah. It got a couple awards. Do you know what it received? What awards? On the cover, doesn't it say? Yeah, it says it is the winner of the Newberry Medal and the Nash National Book Award. Okay, so if you think about, you finished this book mm -hmm. just for yourself. Okay, yeah. looking at this cover, does it attract you to read this book? Does it attract you? <laughs> does it attract you? What do you think, Aiden? It really attracts me because, well, there's two boys that I don't know of, mm -hmm. and there's a very big metal, and there's a lizard somewhere here, mm -hmm. somewhere here, and I like the way it didn't really do do only the O. It it is like they made it like a circle okay. at the top of the hole. That's different than other editions, because I've seen this book, but they don't always do that on the cover. Yeah. So that's probably, this is a new print, a new edition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did this story begin? This story began by the, the sentence, There is no lake at Camp Green Lake. So it's introducing the setting? Yeah. And what's Camp Green Lake? Where is this? This is in Texas. It is a drive up lake. Mm hmm. And why are they there? Who are the main characters in this the story? The main characters. There's a lot of main characters. There is Mr. Sir, Mr. Pendanski, the Warden, Stanley, Zero, Armpit, Magnet. Mm -hmm. Weird and names. Zigzag, X ray. And that's all. So, why do they all have these weird names? Uh, except Mr. Sir, the pen, Mr. Pen, Pendanski, and Stanley, and the Warden, and Zero. Mm, except them, they are all nicknames. They're nicknames. Do you feel like. They, why do they have nicknames? Where is Camp Green Lake? Where is this? Camp Green Lake? Why are they all at this camp? Because, well, there's a tent. There, it, and there is a place that you can, you can sleep in, but, but you are getting punished because you did a wrong thing. Mm -hmm. So you have to dig holes. The warden says that it builds character, but actually it is for, it is to find some treasure in the big abandoned desert lake. Ah, so this is like a juvenile detention yeah. camp for young people. Mm -hmm. How old are the characters? That is not mentioned in the book. But do you think they're younger? Yeah. Probably teenagers? Yeah, I think they'll be a little, like, one or two years older than me. Okay. So, in this story, they are digging for a treasure. Uh-huh. I know it's kind of a spoiler, but uh, what happens? How does it end? Do they get the treasure? Does the warden find it? Uh, the warden, um, the Zero and Stanley, they find it, and... And Stanley and Zero, they get released from Camp Green Lake. They get released? Yeah. Because or they escape? They get released. Okay. They escape, uh -huh. and then they find the treasure, and they came back, and, and they got released. Okay. So, does the warden keep the treasure? What's the, what happens to that? Kate, Kate Burton, this guy... This woman called Kate Barlow, she hid some treasure inside, uh -huh. inside the big abandoned desert lake. Uh -huh. And that is when they, 
and when the people started digging holes. So and... does this this is a teacher, right? Uh -huh. There's also kind of a message about this teacher, right? Her family history. Doesn't she have some family history? Or was that the main character Stanley's family history? There was a curse. Yeah. Can Stanley's, you explain what the curse was about? The curse was about... Mm, the curse was about Stanley's 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 ancestor, like a great yeah, great, great great grandfather. Yeah. Uh, there's a family joke called. This is all because because of. Has no good, dirty, rotten pig stealing great great grandfather. So they are cursed because of something his grandfather did. Yeah. Okay. So how does this end then? We are doing spoilers. You want to do a spoiler? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So how did it end with the treasure? Mm, they a pair of them. So when they find the treasure, what happens to the curse? It, they were under. The curse gets um, the curse gets released. Okay. Or minimized. Yeah. So finding that treasure was the way to overcome this family curse. Yeah. Okay. Did you enjoy reading this book? Yeah, I really enjoyed reading this book. And if you recommend it to a person, who, which demographic would you recommend it to? I see to people that almost mastered English. Okay, because it's not a beginner Or novel. intermediate. Okay. It is something like a very hard book. Let's ask a question. Uh -huh. Can we ask ChatGTP? What question do you want to know? Is holes a true story? You want to find out? Yeah, I want to find out. Okay, let's find out. You want to search there? Hey. Is it a true story? Mm -hmm. ChatGTP doesn't want to tell us. Uh, oh, that's okay. So if you give this uh, 1 to 10 rating on a 1 to 10 scale, how would you uh, rate this book? I will rate this book as 12. A 12? Yeah, a I 12. said 1 to 10. And what I really like this book, it is 12. What what did you like about it? What was the best part for you? Um, my best part was Zero ate the splush. He ate the what? Splush. What's that? Uh, he calls it the splush. We don't know the real name. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think there's a theme in this novel. Yeah. What would you say the theme is? It is friendship and fate. Mm-hmm. And when we make choices in life, mm -hmm. what's that about? If we make a choice, mm -hmm. what's the what happens when we make choices? When we make choices, uh, they can really impact your future. Yeah. So this kind of what choices were impacting the future in this novel? The great great grandfather's choice mm -hmm. it impacted their whole family. Yeah. Can you think of a choice in your life that you're making right now and how that might change your future? I just want to look like this. I'm very happy now. You're very happy now. I want no changes. You don't want to change. Yeah. So maybe a choice that you're making is to enjoy your life enjoy your education enjoy being a kid yeah okay and that will impact your future mm -hmm. you won't hate 
you won't hate some subjects or things in life. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. I did not read this book. So, would you recommend it uh, for me? Yeah, I will recommend it for you because, well, you're American. Okay. And it takes place in America. It has some themes of racism and fate and yeah. history. And friendship. And friendship. So, all right. Well, there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, recommended to you by the one, the only, Aiden. And... Where did you get the book? Where did you buy it? Uh, it is on Amazon, on Cookpot and Coupon. It is a very popular book, so you can find it on internet. Okay, and if we had a nice YouTube channel, we could put a link in the description below <laughs> and they could buy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Bye-bye. See you next time.